spatial planning. As our city grows, we need a plan that takes into account our natural environment, those who live and work in the city, and how we want our city to look and function decades from now. Land is a rare commodity, and we have to work together to ensure we make the best use of this asset. If you use space or land, you're involved in spatial planning. It's not just for the landowners or government, it's also residents, developers, institutions, organizations and businesses as they all require land to operate on or from. Simply put, it's the planning of how and where space and land is used, by whom and for what purposes, such as the natural environment, the built environment, the people and social facilities they use, the economy and legislation and policies, Good spatial planning can stimulate our economy, improve people's living conditions, protect and preserve our natural environment, make our city more efficient and resilient, and enables it to adapt to unforeseen shocks. We are guided by several key principles and objectives. Spatial justice, to promote inclusivity and improve access to economic opportunities and housing that are well located. Efficiency ensures a more compact city so that providing water, sanitation, electricity, housing, transport, roads and social services like schools, clinics, community centers and so forth are more affordable. Spatial resilience enables the city administration and the city's inhabitants to respond and adapt to unforeseen shocks like droughts, wildfires, storms and pandemics that would have a devastating impact on the city and residents' livelihoods, such as COVID-19. Certainty and clarity about the right type of development in the right location for the right use. Residents and business need certainty to decide about their future, like where they want to live and work, buy and invest. A spatial development framework sets the vision for land uses in an area. It determines what a neighborhood and area could look like a few years down the line and what activities could take place in this space. The SDF is one of the policies the city uses when it needs to make a decision about an application for a development or land use by the private and public sector, be it for a new housing development, permission to operate a creche from a home, or plans for a new school or hospital. Once the SDF is in place, government departments can plan and budget for the projects and interventions listed in the SDFs can be used to ensure implementation on the ground. The SDF is an important instrument for the coordination of activities to transform our city, districts, areas and neighbourhoods and has an influence on how people live and work in the city. The City of Cape Town making progress possible together.